I hope that you and your loved ones are safe, healthy, and doing well during this time. And if you're new here, my name is Emily, and I love to make videos about fashion, jewelry, lifestyle, and anything magical. In today's video, we are celebrating Pandora 20. It's the 20th of August, and that means that a new anniversary charm has released from Pandora. If you would like to know more information about Pandora's anniversary charms or this month's anniversary charm, spoiler alert, the love dice, I do have detailed blog posts going into all the information about them. It has been such a dream opportunity to get to celebrate Pandora 20 with Pandora, and it's just, oh my gosh, it's so much fun. So thank you again to each and every one of you because I wouldn't have these opportunities without you guys. But anyway, getting back into this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a special charm on my Life is a Fairy Tale with You bracelet. Each month I get to pick out a special charm in my Pandora collection and I get to share the story behind it with all of you. Now I had a tough time because I was kind of torn between a couple charms on here that I wanted to share with you guys but ultimately I decided I had to pick one of my favorite, like favorite Pandora charms that was really hard for me to find and get and it is the Princess and the Pea charm. So if you'd like to know more about the story behind this charm for me, make sure, one second here, to grab a delicious cup of tea, I'm having some iced matcha, and let's get started. So the charm I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today is the Princess and the Pea charm. This is a two-tone charm, and it is a charm, which like, where is it? It's hiding right here. <laughs> it is a charm that has long been on my wish list, and you might remember a YouTube video where I had a Pandora haul, and I talked about being able to finally find this charm, because it had been on my Pandora wish list for I think since I first started like actively collecting and I just I fell in love with it so what is so special is it's inspired by Hans Christian Andersen Pandora came out with a couple different Hans Christian Andersen charms way back celebrating his birthday his anniversary and I loved them all and I actually do have the ugly duckling which is another charm that I love I still have yet to get the hat though I think the hat is so amazing so if anyone knows where I can find it let me know <laughs> But anyway, this is a two-tone Pandora charm and it features, you know, the princess and the pea. That's what it's inspired by. So it features a little bed with all the mattresses piled up high. And then right in the middle, you can see a little two-tone pea. So it's a little touch of Pandora 14 karat gold accent. And then that's done on both sides of it. And then up at the top, you have that wonderful Pandora crown right up at the top representing the princess at the top of the mattress. And it is just so beautiful and cute, you guys. And I love how the little bed has little legs on it. When you flip it over, it does have the 925 ALE. And I love this charm because as a lot of you guys know, fairy tales are some of my favorite types of stories. They're, you know, they just add so much magic into my day and they really represent my childhood. Like I loved reading every single fairy tale book. It was my favorite thing. I remember reading The Princess and the Pea and a bunch of other ones. So when I look at this charm, it really just reminds me of being a little girl and loving to read storybooks and books in my bed with a cup of tea because I was drinking tea young, believe me. <laughs> and like, it's just such a wonderful childhood memory. So that's what Princess and the Pea represents for me. It also represents determination because I really wanted to find this charm. It had been retired at that point and I just kept searching and I'm like, you know what, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be and I will be able to add this charm into my collection. And as you guys all know from that video, I was able to find it. And I have since added it on to my Life is a Fairy Tale bracelet. This actually is a newer bracelet design. I actually haven't shown it really too much actually on my YouTube channel. I think the last time you would have seen it is in my Pandora collection video. And I had gotten quite a few people saying that they would love to see like close-ups and of it. So I'm gonna show you a little bit more details of the bracelet now. Two of the charms that I really love on here is the fairy tale book, which I think is so, it's all silver and it's just one that I love. I also have the Mystic Muranos, the white Muranos. These are gold and I still can't believe I own them. I think they're just so beautiful. What's special about these is I picked them up on a trip when I went shopping with Nicole. We did some Pandora shopping and 
I finally caved and got them and I just, I love them. I think they're so beautiful. The theme of Life is a Fairy Tale with You is actually inspired by my husband and I. So it has a ton of charms that represent family, our relationships, our dating kind of memories and things. And there's just a lot of really special pieces on here. Another one that's really special is the 2015 Pandora Club charm because that's the year my husband and I got married and Angie and Nicole, my dear friends, they actually got this for me, which is really, really special. I also have the amethyst on here which is a two-tone and it's so beautiful and just a couple other really special charms including the husband and wife mr. and miss I think they're so cute and then I also have the prince and princess these were gifts for my husband on Valentine's Day and they're just so cute so I had to put them on here too and that's basically the two-tone bracelet I just really love how it looks currently right now I just have it stacked with a plain Pandora sliding bracelet and I just really love how this looks it's a very simple look especially on a hot summer day which it is today so I'm drinking all the iced matcha and simple stacks no necklace today and just some earrings. Another detail that I really love about this bracelet is it features my wedding day colors, which were pink, white, and gold. And I love that this bracelet echoes those colors. So it's kind of like the, an extension of my something blue bracelet, which I actually showed in a Pandora 20 video back in May. So if you'd like to see that, I'll leave a link up above the screen you can click on there. And I don't know, I just, I love that I have two special bracelets kind of representing my husband and us and our marriage and just our life together, which I think is really, really special. So that is it for the bracelet as well as the princess and the pea charm. I would love to know if you guys have any special retired Pandora charms in your collection or pieces, perhaps a pair of earrings or a ring that you love and that you tried really hard to find. If you're like me, it's so like, it's like the best feeling when you finally get to have that retired charm that was like on your wish list. So. I love this one. It's very special to me and I'd actually love to know if any of you guys actually own it in your collection too. So please let me know down below. Anyway, you guys, that is it for today's Pandora 20 video. In a very short time, the anniversary charm is going to be releasing. So I'm so excited to get on my computer and order it. I'd love to know if you guys plan to get it too. I hope you have a wonderful, magical rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.